Today, incredible new numbers from the state show the impact coronavirus shutdowns are having on Ohio workers. The state says it received nearly 188,000 new claims for unemployment benefits last week. To put that in perspective, look at these numbers. These are the five highest totals for unemployment claims in Ohio history. These are entire months. Last week would have ranked second on that list. Just that week. Five on your side investigator, Scott Knoll, live now with more on the toll it is taking on laid off workers. Yeah, home of the workers we talked with today say they didn't see this coming. They thought the economy was strong and then came coronavirus. Amanda Gearing still adjusting to life laid off. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I wake up and I'm like, wait, I can't go to work. The Elyria daycare where she teaches now closed because of COVID-19 concerns. Literally one text on a Thursday and we're like, oh, okay, we close tomorrow for 12 weeks. That's good. Gearing one of thousands across Northeast Ohio, suddenly without a paycheck. Kind of stressful. My dad's kind of stressed too. Um, we're both kind of not really having a job, so we're kind of taking it day by day. So. That's all you can do. She's one of nearly 188,000 workers filing unemployment claims with the state last week. Eleanor Brown in that number two. So if anyone thought that it wasn't serious before, I kind of think this is a wake up call. She's laid off from her job as a licensed clerk. It's different. It's not something I thought I'd experience in my lifetime, that's for sure. Not this young, at least. And thousands more workers could be joining their ranks. This week, Cleveland's Renaissance Hotel informing the state it plans to temporarily lay off 126 workers. Jack Entertainment, more than 1,500 expected to be temporarily laid off at the end of the month. But with coronavirus continuing to spread, no one seems to know just how temporary any of this will be. Not knowing you here all over, we're going to try to end it then here. We're going to do this tactic, that tactic, but we really just don't know how long it's going to go on, so it's... The uncertainty, it's a little, it's a little worrying. Workers say it's like COVID-19 pushed pause on their lives, on their plans. Save up eventually for to move out, pay for school, stuff like that. So it's kind of putting a damper on the whole situation. For now, her classroom sits dark. Coronavirus, now a lesson in uncertainty. I guess it's better that at least everyone's in it together. So some people aren't like really, everyone can be worried together. For sure, and it together. Okay, Scott Noel back out live. Scott, we are still hearing from a lot of people who say they're having problems signing up for benefits. Is there any help on the way? Yeah, Homa, today state officials said that they are adding servers trying to keep up with the increased demand from workers filing those unemployment claims online. They also point out that unlike other economic downturns we've seen over the years where you see kind of waves of people being laid off, this one hit all at once.